Hi, I'm Wendy Gratz from Shiny Happy World, and this cute donkey is the current pattern in the Funny Faces Quilt Block of the Month Club. So when I say current, it is January 1st, 2023, and if you are in the club, you should have already gotten an email that with a link to download the pattern. You'll also find it in your account under your downloads. If you're not in the club yet and you join any time in the month of January 2023, this is the pattern that you're going to get instantly. If you're watching this video and it's not January anymore, it's much later, you can find this pattern at shinyhappyworld.com uh, sometime for the end of February in 2023. So here's how to make him. Okay, I've got all of the donkey pieces prepped and ready to go. And when I say prepped and ready to go, I mean, I've taken the dotted lines that are on the paper side of the pattern pieces and I've transferred those to the fabric side. I use a chalk pencil anywhere that I can. If the fabric is not dark enough, I will use, for if, if the fabric is very light and the white chalk doesn't show up, I just use a regular pencil. And I also will use a black fine tip pen anytime where I'm going to applique a solid black piece over it because then it doesn't matter that the black line is not going to show through. And I also will use the Sharpie anytime that there are lines that I'm going to stitch right over, like the lines dividing up his teeth on his mouthpiece. So I've got all of the lines transferred over and now I'm just going to start layering the pieces and I always start with the pieces that go off the bottom edge. So I've laid this one out, uh, what I call snapshot style, where it is like it's, you've just taken a picture, and, but not of the whole body, just of the head. And so the neck gets cut off at the bottom of the picture. So I want to line the flat edge of the neck uh, up with the raw edge at the bottom of the block. And I'm actually not going all the way to the edge on this because my batting, I don't cut my batting and my background blocks very carefully and my batting is a little bit short of the edge. So I'm actually lining this up with the batting underneath. And I'm just gonna center that pretty well in this block because he's a pretty centered face. And now I'm gonna work from that piece up. So the next piece is gonna be his muzzle. And you can see that chalk line that I've transferred. I'm gonna lay the muzzle piece until it just covers that. And then I have, I know that I have enough coverage there. So the next piece is gonna be the top of his head. And this piece is gonna tuck behind the muzzle. So I'm gonna tuck it until that chalk line is covered. And now I have some ears and these pieces are all numbered and there is a placement guide that uh, is also numbered and that will show you which piece goes where if you're confused between which ear goes on which side. Sometimes it doesn't really matter, but sometimes it does. And in this case, I do want to get them the way I designed it. So this ear tucks here and the other ear piece tucks on the other side of his head. And he's also got a little mane. So donkeys have a mane that stands straight up. It doesn't flop over like a horse's. It's more like a zebra mane. So we really just see this little bit of a tuft from the front. There that is. Now I'm gonna put the inner ears in. And again, the numbers tell me which one goes with what, but I've also made the shapes kind of echo the shape of the larger outside ear. And these also will tuck until those lines are covered. And now I've got uh, his eyes and his mouth. Let's go ahead and put his mouth in place. Give him a little toothy smile. And that doesn't show up super hot well right now against the lighter muzzle, but once I do the outline stitching, it's gonna show up really clearly. So I have two different kinds of ovals. I have a larger oval, those are for his eyes, and smaller ovals are for his nostrils. And again, they are numbered on the pieces, so that will also help you figure out which is which. But the two eyes are identical and the two nostrils are identical. Just the eyes are different from the nostrils. So we'll get this guy in. And 
one more. And there we go. So I am going to take this over to the ironing board, iron it all in place, just follow the instructions on whatever brand of fusible adhesive you use. I use heat and bond lightweight for all of my quilts. Um, once I get that fused in place, I'm gonna do all of the outline stitching and I'm gonna add some catch lights to his eyes and that outline stitching is gonna help that mouth really show up as well. And then I will bring it back here and show you the finished block and also show you a couple of other color versions that I did. All right, here is the finished donkey. I did all of the fusing and the outlining and I added some catch lights to his eyes. There's a link in the pattern to how to do that. There's a few different ways you can do it. I really like to just use fabric paint and this is the kind that I like, Scribbles brand, shiny. Um, it has a nice little, little shine to it. And I just like to do a couple of dots. I used to do a little kind of crescent shape, but I have simplified it and I really, really am liking just some dots now. Um, but the, the, the link in the pattern has a link to where you can buy the specific fabric paint and also other methods you can use. But as promised, oh, here I was gonna show you some other fabrics without telling you first what this one is. So this background is a yellow from the farmer's market blenders. So this is the corn color in the very lightest color palette. And all of these grays are from the Animal Kingdom blenders, specifically from the Elephant blenders. You can also find the more white ones in the salt and pepper blenders. The same ones will just be coated both ways, so you can find them either way. So here's a couple of other color of options that I did. So this is a new collection that I'm working on where all of the background blocks are different blenders from the Strawberry Blenders collection from the Farmer's Market um, color palette. So I did a zebra in December that had a much darker pink. Now we've used a lighter pink on this one. And again, all of the blenders that I used for the donkey itself, all of these shades of gray are in the Elephant Blenders, which are part of the Animal Kingdom color palette. And I've got one more. So this is an ongoing collection that I've been working on where the background blocks are all from the avocado blenders, which are also in the farmer's market uh, color palette. And the donkey, I decided to do a fun fantasy colors donkey. So this one is purple and um, it is specifically, all of these are from the eggplant blenders uh, collection, which are also in the farmer's market color palette. So all the colors in the farmer's market collection have fruit and vegetable names like avocado, eggplant, strawberry. So that is three color options for the donkey pattern, which is the current pattern in the Funny Faces Quilt Block of the Month Club. That's January 2023. I'm Wendy from Shiny Happy World and I'll see you next month.